The Audacity Deck by Pine Torch by artist Mari Toskas is a 37-card creation of original tarot-inspired artwork that is featured heavily on the Pine Torch website and Etsy store. There, you can find these original images on clothing, cups, blankets, magnets, stickers, and more. The website further explains that she had so many requests to produce a dedicated tarot deck of these particular images that she finally decided to do just that. And so that's what we're taking a look at today. The deck comes with this beautiful magnetic tux box with inner ribbon to secure the cards. There is a 36-page guidebook with the artist's explanations for each of the cards. And finally, the 37 holographic edge cards printed on thick cardstock. So let's pull out some cards and read some example explanations. In front of us, I have the T, which says spill it, the gossip, your guts, the heaviness, the burden, all of it. Your message, you've been soaking in the bitter tannin for so long, it's time to let go. Whatever it is that's marinating in your soul is no longer needed. This card is for release, levity, sharing your burden with others, and moving on. So let's look at the Audacity card. A skeleton rose into the serene, rainbow-filled sky, announcing his presence. Your bright, sunshiny day has suddenly and unabashedly disturbed by the ultimate storm cloud. Your message. Just when you thought it was safe to smell the roses, the utter audacity of someone or something is coming to rain on your parade. This is the ultimate wake-up call card, the card to end all cards. Give the boot to the cheaters, users, couch surfers, energy vampires, fair weather friends, toxic bosses, and last week's rotten produce that has the audacity to mold. The taco, the glorious, perfectly encapsulated food, meat, cheese, sour cream, and extra guac, everything you need in the palm of your hand. Your message, not all things that fall apart are broken. You may be stuck in a mess, but this isn't the end. Scoop up the pieces and remember that your routine doesn't define you. You can always change direction. You are a work of art. Eat up. The Dead End Job A labyrinth of beige cubicles awaits thy eternal soul. Get out, get out, while you still can. Your message. 9 to 5, then 6, 7, 8. Your workday is never-ending. Your boss is toxic. Your co-workers are cringeworthy. Your customers are Karens, but you still answer the phone with a chipper greeting. Nancy needs to release her internalized rage via CC as per my last email. Phyllis needs to cry about her euthanized cat over coffee. There must be some kind of way to get out of here. Go to the light quick before your soul gets sucked into the vending machine. We won't go through the whole deck card by card and explanation by explanation. But it is my hope by seeing those four cards, it gives you a general idea for how the guidebook and cards will read. You will see all of the cards individually via the silent flip-through, which is later in this video. As always, I can't exactly replicate how a card will feel like in your hands, but you may find the following information helpful. The Audacity Deck measures 11 centimeters by 7 centimeters. This is just 1 centimeter shorter than standard Terra size. Deck height is 26.33 millimeters when tightly clamped. Deck weight is 141.2 grams. Card weights range from 3.72 to 3.86 grams, with average card weight per deck weight of 3.82 grams. The lightest card in the deck is the Devil at 3.72 grams. The heaviest card in the deck is Cold Shoulder and the Taco cards coming in at 3.86 grams each. Card thickness varies from 0.69 to 0.73 millimeters throughout the deck. The Star card is the thinnest card which is consistently measured 0.69 millimeters in every direction. Numerous cards measured 0.73 millimeters so there is no one heaviest card to show. I've created this stand to give perspective to the flex aspect of cardstock and to create a standard for comparison. A small vise is mounted in the center of two circle protractors. Two magnets are attached to the card with a combined total weight of three ounces. By my eye, the Audacity deck flexes to 17 degrees. So let's look at those numbers one more time. You will note that I'm not comparing this deck to any standard tarot deck. I think it's in a class of its own. 
Deck height, 26.33 millimeters. Card size, just under standard tarot size at 11 by 7 centimeters. Deck weight, 141.2 grams. Card weight, 3.72 to 3.86 grams. Card thickness, 0.69 to 0.73 millimeters. Card flexion, 17 degrees. I will note there has been no other card so far that has flexed so little for me. So let's take a look at the card backs. We have a hand below and a hand below. And one in the clouds and one kind of over is some crystals. There's a center eye. I love the busyness of this card back. I love how it's complementary to the face of the card with the border colors. I know it's not reversible. I'm okay with that. The card thickness makes it a little unlikely to be able to riffle shuffle. But you certainly could shuffle the cards with ease. The cards themselves, uh, they're thick. So this does feel like pieces of cardboard. I'm okay with that. I didn't purchase this deck wanting it to be a full-size traditional tarot deck. I purchased it because I like the art and the humor of it. So again, keep in mind the cards are thick, but gosh, they are beautiful. So I think this is a fun addition for you if this is kind of in your wheelhouse for a fun and sassy deck with kind of different types of interpretations. The Audacity deck by Pine Torch is just a fun, sassy deck that is really just a great deck for someone who has an interest in tarot and maybe you're looking for a fun gift to get for them. I think in a pinch, it could be used kind of like an oracle deck as clarification on certain questions. I don't regret purchasing it. I'm a fan of the store and the artist. I have the taco card myself on a t-shirt. Um, I think almost all the cards you can certainly get on a t-shirt, on a mug, on a cup, a blanket, kind of the options are endless. 
I think it's just a fun, cute deck, and I don't regret the purchase at all. I understand that it's not meant to be a formal tarot deck, so I kind of look at um, the review of the cards with that particular lens. But if you're looking for a fun gift and you have a friend or family member who loves tarot, or maybe just a gift for yourself, I think this is a wonderful addition. So check out the Pine Torch website or their Etsy store and grab a copy of this deck. I hope you found today's review interesting and insightful, and if not, maybe just a little bit entertaining, and I look forward to seeing you next time.